have all heard what uh, uh, Governor Kuti uh, had to say. And in addition to all this, today we are launching the hashtag Commercial Corona. I think it's already running. Yes, it's already running. And as you, can, you have seen billboards in areas, we are distributing pamphlets uh, in markets and uh, other areas. As I said, uh, the Nyumbakumi, Nyumbakumi activities have already taken effect uh, and are continuing in the, uh, uh, around the country. So we have got a structure that is uh, effective. But I reiterate, the next two weeks are really critical for us. If you look at uh, the figures from uh, any country, if you look at the figures from Spain, if you look at the figures from uh, Thailand and elsewhere, you will find that 14 days, about 14 days, from the time you notice the first patient, then there is usually a surge. So we are preparing for it, and we are telling our people, in all honesty, that it is better for us to prepare for the worst. It is better for us to be ready for any eventuality. Rather than start getting ready when we know that it has happened, it is better to us to get ready now. And at the health ministry, this is exactly what we have been doing, developing our capacity so that in any eventuality, we can at least be able to offer Kenyans all the support that is possible within government. Any questions? Hi. Yes. Thank you so much. Seth Oran is my name. I work for NTV. Of course, we're preparing for the worst, but again, the government seems to be having a soft spot towards entertainment uh, industry, and of course, which contributes to the economy. And of course, we are very keen on protecting the economy, making sure it's going and running. But at what expense? Because uh, at what price? Because you say clearly that you know, judging by what we've been seeing abroad, and especially China, Italy, uh, a lot has been blamed for the very initial steps not being taken. And I'm talking about a possibility of a complete shutdown, or if you like, lockdown. Of course, you've mentioned the two weeks are going to be crucial, but why are we giving entertainment joints some soft spots? If the churches the most have announced they are shutting their doors, but guys can still congregate at clubs, bars until 7.30 p.m. I think that is also encouraging that, according to my own opinion. Uh, that is one. Uh, the second question would be, what measures are you going to take when mass comes to us, and especially for the elderly, for the expectant mothers, and maybe the children and persons with disability? Because this one seemed to, you know, been a target for this particular virus. So what measures are we going to take? And the last point would be... This one, this no, it's okay the now. Somebody else has some... Let's give, it, let, let's give somebody else a chance. So the language of the king and the people in the city of the city of the city hii mambo ya self isolation ni kumaanisha kwamba mtu akae ndani ya nyumba yake asitoke nje asitembee nje kama unao watoto ni, ni njia gani ambayo unastahili wewe ambayo una self isolate uwe ndani ya nyumba yako Okay is right Yes sometime Um evangelical churches have they say they intend to continue uh, their services uh, despite the directive that some churches should actually shut the doors of provide sanitizer, but the government will be moving in to possibly just ensure they are adhering to it. And uh, are you considering a total flight ban in Kenya? And what is the safety of cabin crew that are actually coming from the epicenters and are serving people? Are they going on self quarantine or are they continuing? Uh, Thank you. Uh, let me start backwards and then move forwards. First and foremost, the issue of a cabin crew coming from epicenters does not arise. The reason being, there are no flights from, uh, from Kenya by any airline to epicenters. And that is why we said yesterday, we expressed that there are some people we returned. Because if somebody comes from any country that has got an epicenter, through any means, you know, we return them. And we returned uh, 
some people on Ethiopian Airlines. We return some people on Kenya Airways. So we have made it very clear. And the way to protect our um, uh, cabin crew, the cabin crew are well protected. We are screening them. Uh, we have also, they also are self-quarantined. When they come in, they stay uh, alone in the hotels. And in fact, the hotels have taken very serious measures. If you have seen some of the areas where uh, these people are, the evangelicals, I was not aware that uh, evangelicals have said that, but I would like to ask them to familiarize themselves with the Public Health Act and uh, see where it takes. But more importantly, you know, it is not really about what uh, somebody has declared here and there. By the end of the day, we have said that this is one situation where the individual is the key. The individual is the key. You know, if a person is telling you, come jump in a hole, and you jump in a hole, surely you will be held responsible for jumping into the hole, not the person telling you to jump into a hole. So I, I, let me reiterate, individual responsibility is what is going to count for how we fail or how we succeed in this one. And I would like to reiterate, on the issue of the, the, uh, uh, the, the self-isolation, I will let uh, Dr. Amoth explain that again, as he had explained earlier. But I would like to assure you that uh, self-isolation is what is being used in all other parts of the world. Unless individuals require quarantining by force, which we are quite prepared to do. But uh, because of the potential of the kind of numbers that one might have to quarantine, that is why we want to, we want to um, encourage, continue encouraging people to self-quarantine themselves. Remember, remember that in 99% of these cases, an individual is not unwell. They are like you and I. It is just like they are positive, but they are not unwell. So really, if you are disciplined, there is no reason for, for, for you to be held in quarantine where you might even be, 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 we might even be exposing many more other people uh, uh, to you. Secondly, uh, sorry, and then on the issue of the um, worst case, worst case scenario, as I said, we plan for it. We plan for worst case scenario. We have got different modeling modeling versions of what we are going to do. When this happens, this is what you do. When this happens, this is what you do. And it's, we, have, we have the plan of how to take care of the, of the situation. We hope it never gets there. But um, just like other nations have done, we will do what we can. But by the end of the day, it is important that individuals are also, as the government is preparing itself for the worst, Individuals, too, must prepare themselves for the worst and know if the worst comes to the worst, what do I, as an individual, have to do? Because it gets to that. And, and I said, the worst thing we can do is fabricate stories and, tell, and, 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 and say things that are not true. And I want to be brutally honest with Kenyans. I want to be brutally honest and to tell you that we will take every measure that we can, you know, to ensure your safety. But as I repeat again and again, this is a situation where you too, you too must take responsibility. Uh, so I, I, I want to stop there because I also want to ask um, General, first of all, 